All right, redneck, <laughs> redneck hater asks a great question. How does this work under the hood? Is a microprogram an actual binary or something you load into a VM? <sighs> great question. Um, so here's my answer. It's up to the implementation. So to implement microprogramming, you need an environment, you need parsers, which are microprograms, and you need microprograms. So, but how that's implemented, man, you can implement it in so many ways. You don't even need a computer. Um, let's implement microprogramming. Let's pretend we have a table. Okay. Here's our environment. And then let's pretend we have uh, programs. So we'll make the programs, we'll make them these little shapes. How about um, we'll make them these little, um, how about these guys? Little, little shapes, okay? All right, and now let's make our parsers these guys. What is this? That's not what I wanted. Um, laser. Highlighted. Line. Okay, we'll make the parsers. We'll make the parsers triangles. We'll make the parsers circles. Okay. So here are our microprogram parsers. And now, so now these are microprograms. These are microprogram parsers. And now, so um, in this example, imagine this is a table. And um, uh, so what we do is, let's just, let's, sorry, we need one more, one more parser. OK, we've got a collection of parsers. And so now what's going to happen here is the parsers are going to bind to the microprograms. OK, that's our parse step. And now, perhaps each, um, perhaps each microprogram, okay, has a value of zero or one, okay. And now the if the value is one, the parser turns solid, okay? Or turns, what's this, solid, okay? And it remains transparent. So now our, our program has evaluated. All right, so that's microprogramming. It's um, very different, it's very parallel, um, and it's a design pattern. And it's a way to design your language. I mean, and so now, of course, how do we implement something like this in text languages? Well, we can use the particles, parsers, and scroll stack. Um, but you could build your own stack. This is just a design pattern. So I'm not sure if that's clear. This is, I know this is very different, this is, especially if you don't have a background in microbiology um, and ha haven't spent a lot of time thinking about how things are working inside your cells, this is probably, and, and if you're just looking at things like, how is this like a traditional program language? Like it's not, it's just not like that. <laughs> so um, thank you for the feedback. Don't worry, this is only day one, day two of introducing this term. So we'll, we'll figure out how to explain it and teach it, teach it well. But um, yeah, I hope that was helpful. Thank you for the great question. I'm gonna post this on the YouTube. All right, have a great night.